Here's the Elliott Wave forecast for February 14th, 2013. On the NASDAQ 5-day 1-minute chart, it's like, it's really crazy. It's like, we have 1, 2, 3, very sideways, 4, 5, and then this could be a corrective 2 at um, at worst. And um, it's just like, look how sideways it is. It's just absolutely obnoxious what's happening. It's like, uh, I was talking about this like last week. It's like, I thought there would be resistance at a certain level in 30... Around 3197 or 3195 for, for Nasdaq is the resistance level, and every time you hit that level, it just gets it gets sold into. It's not a very significant level, but uh, it's just this cup. It's, it's it's parallel to the to the. It's just horizontal. <laughs> it's almost unbelievable how sideways the market is. It's very difficult to trade. It's extremely difficult difficult to trade, and we really need a correction to happen as soon as possible to get this mess just completely done and over with. It's very hard to trade. I mean, my my trades in the past uh, like a couple weeks have just been like fractional gains, loss, fractional gains. It's like I, I had a streak of 16 in a row stopped when I had it, when I shorted and it got squeezed, but then I made half of it back on uh, two long trades. But um, it isn't the uh, it isn't the easiest environment to trade. It's actually quite difficult to trade this environment. It's, it's like almost impossible when there's no direction. It's like, look at this NASDAQ 5-day chart. Just How do you trade that? But I'm trying real hard to, to just uh, come up with the trade. And today, I tried to short at the bottom of the C wave and uh, we got ready, got spiked into. So I'm down about 15 cents in the in the SPXU right now. Take a look at that, the XP, SPXU. I actually shorted... Uh, I short SPXU. I should. I mean, see, not short SPXU. I bought SPXU, which is a triple short, around thirty ninety one, and then it's it's sold off into, uh, to thirty seventy five at the close. So I'm down about fifteen sixteen cents right now, on about seven thousand shares, which isn't a too bad of a loss, but it's very really annoying when you thought it was going to be a third wave breakout, and then it reverses at the close. It was just unusual to see that. It's actually. I mean, it's just really difficult to trade. I mean, I. I'm trying my best, and it's, it's almost a, it's really frustrating. You know, like you can hear it, you can hear in the body language in my in my voice when I'm talking on the um, the video or the audio. You can hear it my the, the my my the body language. You can actually hear my body language. Like just the, you actually you can see me when I'm like I'm like God damn it, this is a market is so sideways. What am I gonna do? So took a shot. Just this took a dot. Just took a stab at it, but I think we might gap down tomorrow. So so I'm, I'm I was I held on to the short position. Uh, S and P. Yeah, look at this chart. Oh my God. I mean, this could be one, two, three, very long four, five, and into a wave two. And um, this could be wave one. This could be two into a three, at worst. But um, we gotta see how the market opens tomorrow. Uh, if we take out like fifteen twenty two, I'd probably like get out of the position. Probably, I'm probably gonna lose about two thousand dollars if that happens. But it's not. It's better than losing like seven thousand, you know, or ten thousand. But two thousand dollar loss is a big deal to me because I, I, they're just like, to me, it's fractional can, based on the size of the, of the account that I'm trading right now. But um, if we end up gapping down though below fifteen sixteen, I would be pretty happy. <laughs> so I'm actually short. Uh, I'm actually like long SPXU, which is triple e, a triple ETF to um, triple ETF for SP for short. And it is a very difficult environment, but you know, it's like everybody in my chat room is like. Come on, come on, trade, trade, come on, come on, come on, do it, do it, do it. You know, it's like, I mean, just look at the fucking chart, man. <laughs> look at this. It's almost impossible to trade, but I, I've i been holding off for a while, but I decided, like, let's see, let's see if I short here and see what happens. It's a very difficult environment. I mean, you think this is, do you think S&P is bad? Look at the Dow. The Dow is even worse. <laughs> the Dow is like... Well, in the past, let me show you the 10-day chart, or the, yeah, the 10-day chart, or the, maybe the 30-day, one-minute chart, but 10-day chart is just, just obnoxious, it's so obnoxious to look at. Just look at that. How do you trade this? Come on! Look at this shit. But, you know, I'm, I went short because I thought that this was an impulse down the Dow, upper two to downward three, so, hopefully, we really, really need a correction right as soon as possible. A deep one, so we can just you can't get out of sideways markets like this without a deep correction. So, you get a deep correction, I'd be very happy. I mean, just look at this chart, guys. 
How the fuck do you trade that? <laughs> I mean, people are like, oh, it's sideways. I'm going to buy the low and sell the high. It's not as easy as that. It's buy the low, sell the high. It's not as easy as you think. The people are saying, oh, it's a parallel channel. I can go and trade up and down. No, it's not that easy. It's very, this is a very difficult environment. So hopefully we correct in a big way, like get a big enough correction so that we can get out of this. Because it's a very difficult environment, but um, I would like to see a deeper correction so we can just, this, this crap can just end. That's a wrap.